Welcome back to NBC Connecticut Today. Your time now is 524. Well, the London Olympics may be coming to a close, but training for these Olympians is a year-round commitment. Our Carrie Lee Malin caught up with our fitness expert, Andy Sarubi, and shows us how the whole family can play like champions. If you've been watching the Olympics, maybe you're now inspired to try some of the events on your own. Well, joining us now is Andy Sarubi, our fitness expert. Okay, maybe not really trying them on not your own, all but of the them. backyard version. How are you? Good to see I'm you. I'm great. And of course, I love this time. This is one of my favorite times. The Olympics, especially yeah. summer. It's yeah. so fun to watch. And, and it's motivating. Yes, it, it is. It's just, you watch it and you think, I can, I could, it, it, could I do that? Let's figure out if we can. So I, I <laughs> ran around my house just to tell everyone, I know we're all busy. I know it's Sunday. I know we want to watch the closing ceremonies. But this is all stuff I just picked out of my kitchen, my kids' closets. We've got spaghetti of all things. <laughs> how this, i got to find out how the spaghetti ties well, into the this. The spaghetti is a great alternative. You know when you're in the kitchen cooking and your kids always want to play with it. Yeah. So we <laughs> do an event called Spaghetti Fencing. Fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Everybody laughs. We've got sparklers. We could do some opening events. We've got uh, duct tape. You can make any kind of arena. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So sort of tape it off. Tape it off. Here's you can make okay. your 100-yard dash. You can set it up. We've got torches. And the kids would have a blast with that, that's, right? This is basically it. It's, Maybe they'll even clean the house while they're at it. Yeah. Is that wishful thinking? <laughs> 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 all right, and then what do we have? Over, well, first of all, this is a great idea. Garbage bags and what is this? Just a pillowcase, or no, just, it's just basically your laundry bag. Okay, you know, and and that's you could get together and do your sack races. Very fun. Yeah. So really, I, I like to break it up into into little pieces. One, go with tradition. Mm -hmm. the Olympics mm -hmm. wasn't built in a day. Pick a team, get a team together, make a team out team of USA. it. Team USA. Team <laughs> USA or team up. Be traditional. Use the things from the Olympics, the torches, the lighting, the music. There's even theme music that goes with the Olympics. It's fabulous. Oh, that's a great idea. A little get bit the of Olympic music behind little it. Little chariots and, of yeah. fire. Um, train with the best test. I go online all the time. I watch one of the athletes, and then I go in and I see what they're doing to train. There's so much fun stuff they can do. Balance. Um, things with ice. Ice skaters actually travel with spoons to keep their balance and focus. Yeah, Unbelievable that. stuff that they do to train. All right, what's tip number four? Tip number four is set the scene. So, of course, I can't do the 100 meter dash. There's no way I'm going to beat those I gold medals. I can do anything, <laughs> Andy. Look at her. I'd like to try. <laughs> but the other thing is set the scene. Here's your 100 meter dash, but we're going to do sack races. Put on the garbage bag, put on the laundry bag, go out there, have a good time. We might not be able to play water polo, but we can fill up the sponge, <laughs> toss it, get wet, throw it at each other. Uh, and like I said, my favorite, spaghetti fencing. That is mine as well. Yeah. And then like you said, celebrate in style. Celebrate. Bring out the balloons, bring out the confetti as long as they plan and to clean it up afterwards. These are all just little minis. I picked them up at a hardware store, $2. You can make a little, uh, one of your own medals. And, Perfect. and give them to the kids, and in four years, they're great photos. And maybe they'll go to the Olympics eventually. You All right, know. you can check out NBCConnecticut.com for more on Andy's Backyard Olympics. Pass me a torch. Oh, let's pass it let's back do to this Shirley in style. In style. All right. Dun, dun, All right, dun. Shirley, to you. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, Carrie Lee and Andy, thank you very much. Good advice there. Coming up, the London Olympics are wrapping up, but athletes in the Paralympic Games are just getting started.